Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to get. Hello. Wait. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to get Abby. Hi. I'm a Chara Cook. This is Andrew Flash Gordon. What's up, guys? This is. Chabby. I'm just making fun of your opening. I know. Sorry. It's, it's, it's hard. It's just hard re- rewind. Re- okay. Greetings, greetings. Greetings, greetings, everyone. We are carrying on with season one of Harley Quinn. This is episode eight. L-O-D-R-S-V-P, which I think, I guessed, means Legion of Doom RSVP. We shall find out. If this is your first time watching, you guys, this is going to be a cut down of our reaction because we can't show the whole episode here on YouTube. If you want to see the entire thing uncut, uninterrupted, you can do that on our Patreon page patreon.com slash jabby or you can become a member here on the channel you will need to have your own hbo max subscription though in order to watch along with us but we make it nice and easy for you if you're watching this on youtube thanks so much for doing that support us by subscribing click that bell icon so you know whenever we drop a new video and upvote this video if you're having a good time all right let's get into it oh hey yeah. Where did you come from? I'm just waiting for the museum to open. Just a normal shark doing normal shark things. Don't don't worry about me. We got him! It's go time! Halt! <laughs> oh wow. wow. Yes, noble god! Ah ha 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 Protector of the deep like blue this. and all its inhabitants. <laughs> it is an honor. I'll apprehend these air breathers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll breathe us. Hey. Alright, let's get out of here. Aquaman's so goofy. Oh, there he is. I spoil your little party. It is I, Aquaman. It's not that different. To be fair. I must say, King Shark, your mother would be most displeased. You're not my dad! That is contrary to what she said. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> What magnificent word choice. You are truly the Shakespeare of the sea. I prefer to think of myself as the Dickens of the Deep. The Dickens of the Deep, okay. So let's wrap up this episode of Frasier so we can get back to getting the hell out of here. What villainous reject have you deigned to summon? Oh. Oh, oh no. Oh, uh, wow, like Ursula Andress. How long will that hold him, though? Harley Quinn and her crew <laughs> made Aquaman look like a member of the Justice B League this afternoon. Oh. And made off with a set of ancient Atlantean... I wish they kept his look like the Snyder version. Guys, guys, listen. Dear Miss Quinn, based on your recent evil efforts, the Legion of Doom invites you and your crew to our headquarters to discuss further possibilities. The meta. <laughs> yeah. Wow. L-O-D. R-S-V-P. This is huge for us. Means we might get to move out of the shithole. I will have you know, Norm Dilfer found this mall more than satisfactory. I haven't been able to get a lick of sleep for days. I I didn't hear any noise. (laughs) Since I've been banned for life, I probably shouldn't come, but maybe you can mention I'm reformed and I don't call women anymore. <laughs> You're on the verge of achieving your dream, and I, I really do wish I could be there to see it. Come. Tishan, you gotta come. Well, that's clearly a misprint, because I'm not, not in the group. Yeah. Oh, I guess if I run into Joker there, I'll just deal with it without my best friend. But- Aww. Okay, I'll go. I knew you would. <laughs> this is the big leagues of evil. It's <laughs> a nice aquarium. Think this might interest you? It goes throughout the entire office. <laughs> That's a real diver, and you're free to eat him. <laughs> a real diver! A real diver! Is it my birthday? <laughs> <laughs> also heard we have an actor here. We do improv every Wednesday. Huzzah! You're my shitty college boyfriend. <laughs> Did your college boyfriend have... A kryptonite-powered submarine that can turn into a car? Damn. And they're available to our members at any time. Wow. You could be the next member of the LOD. That's what we call the Legion of Doom. Oh, is that what it stands for? I thought it was Legion of Dildo. <laughs> I'll see you guys tonight. Uh, damn right you will. Oh, hey, do I need to get my parking validated? We don't validate. So evil. <laughs> <laughs> of course. 
Hey, so what is your deal? Like, why are you suddenly so interested in Harley after treating her like shit for months? Do you know how many invitations we've sent you? Because I don't want to join your self-important sausage party. Uh, hey, we have a woman. Good for you. I'm blanking on her name right now, but... <laughs> do you want to play around or you want to get serious? Love that. You're the only one that can do that. Which is why you're right. I don't want Harley. I want you. Then why did you fucking invite her? Why did the Golden Globes nominate The Martian for Best Comedy? <laughs> Look, I'm not joining the Legion of Doom, okay? Or the LOD or the whatever. That's totally fine. If you don't join, Harley doesn't get in either. Uh. Ugh. Oh, that thing. Yes! Eh, uh, that's just the pipes. What the heck? Some dangerous pipes. Joker is gonna be here. Hey, you know what? I I don't give a shit. Nope, don't care. Ooh, there's my competition, KG Beast. Huh? KG Beast. Beast. What did you say to me? Oh, I have not turned my back on the aquatic world. It turned its back on me. Oh well, you can kindly go fuck yourself. <laughs> The wind beneath my wings. Hey. <laughs> so, like, well, did you get an invite to this thing? Or? No. No, I picked up a catering gig, actually. Aww. I was not expecting that. <laughs> chicken satay? Yeah, sure. I will blow you up, you chicken satay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's kill it! Or, or we can do what I usually do, lower some livestock down the hole, walk away. If you won't deal with that noise-making abomination, then I will. She's not an abomination! She's my sister! What? <laughs> what? I warned you and you paid me no heed. So now, taste the salty brine of my sweet... <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> The rescue. Oh gosh. Ross with oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ivy! Oh no, she's got to do it herself. Ooh. Ooh. Uh oh. Hey, fish dick! Why don't you go back to the ocean? Otherwise known as the world's toilet! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it seems like political, like a correct culture is killing the comedy. No, 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 Throw salt water! That's exactly what I was thinking! I thought Aquaman had the power to control water. He could have. Yeah. <laughs> My sister, Muriel, and I were both CIA. She was a top scientist, the best. And in the 80s, cocaine and animal hybridization were all the rage. <laughs> okay. So, I asked Miri if she could make a hybrid for me, one that could aid me on my missions. A half monkey, half octopus, or as it's commonly known, a monkey puss. Oh, monkey puss. <laughs> it was against protocol. But I just kept bugging her. And finally, because of how much she loved me, she agreed to try. As you might have guessed, it all went horribly wrong. I like the fly. Meet my sister, Marielle. Oh! That's a little worse than the fly. Last chance. Sure you don't want in? Harley is good enough to get in on her own. Let her in. I mean, for God's sake, you let Bane in. A lot of politics involved there. She's gonna be a good friend. They don't want you, okay? They never wanted you. They were just using you to get to me. And I'd like to welcome our newest member, Harley Quinn. Harley! What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was oh just no. trying to protect you. I... Harley did you do that Quinn. on purpose? Welcome to the Legion of Doom. It's like Sleuther, I have a feeling he did. Yeah. To uh -oh. break up their friendship. Uh-oh. Join those assholes 
go. You loved it when I was all beaten down and brokenhearted after breaking up with Joker. But you hate it now that I'm better at making something of myself. Ooh, snap. Damn! <sighs> You're trying to sabotage me instead of confronting the fact that without me, you don't have a single friend in this world. I don't need this shit. Like I've always said, I'm not part of your crew, so. Oh, great, go! Run away to your stupid plant! What the hell are you looking at? Oh, no. My own issues aside, can someone explain why Sai is crying and where this giant tentacle monster came from? I can't even imagine what it must be like to go through life a giant, deformed thing. <laughs> <laughs> Why not try and talk to her? How? I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Let me be your what they <laughs> Ghost affected everyone. <laughs> mm. She may not speak English, but I bet she understands it. I'm so sorry. Okay, she said, I get that you were confused and angry. So was I. But it wasn't being turned into a tentacle monster that made me angry. Wow, this is getting interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I was angry because you walked away. You closed yourself off from me. I didn't just lose my brother that day. I lost my best friend. Aww. She kept hoping you would reach out. But you never did. One more time on that last part. <laughs> <laughs> she says, I always thought, no matter how bad it got, you'd never give up on our friendship. I should have come to you, but I was afraid I let it go too long that you wouldn't forgive me. Aww. I don't need a translation for this. I never should have kept you locked up down here. So from now on, you're free. Uh-oh. Run, baby, run! Oh, she looks great. She seems so happy. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I mean... Oh, God. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh! Whatever weird sex thing you had to do to get me back into the Legion of Doom, I thank you. Yeah, that's not what happened. Aha, uh -huh. wink wink. <laughs> uh, this oh. is the worst, when you see the dots. Aww. What? Oh, and uh, by the way, another member insisted on dropping. Uh-oh, oh, Joker. No. I are me. Oh no. Uh, wow, that was another good episode. That yeah. was interesting. You met Steph Sabra, you shot a video with her. For some reason, Poison Ivy reminds me of Steph. I don't know why. There's something about her quality and the way she looks and everything that reminds me of Steph. Yeah, it's yeah, I can thing. see that. She's like pretty chill, yeah. kind of like sardonic. And she really cares about her friends. Yeah, oh yeah. My, yeah, that's queer. Yeah, that's queer. <laughs> I would love that if they had matching jumpsuits <laughs> with Yas well, Now we know what Steph's got to dress as for Halloween. Exactly. Yes, yes. I liked the beginning quite a bit when uh, Clayface was, uh, was Aquaman. Aquaman. Yeah, it's, I'll I knew get, it was him. <laughs> I'll get those air breathers. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't actually that far off from the personification of Aquaman in this show. Yeah. So it took me a minute to just be like, Oh wait, <laughs> it's Clayface. Yeah, I didn't mind the the voice for Aquaman, but I did wish that they had just kept the Snyder version. The Snyder version, because I thought I liked that they you know altered him as it is right now. Having thought about it, it's like unless someone wants to point it out to me, it seems like most of the characters that are human or human looking are white. And not that I'm opposed to that specific thing, but it's just like if there's an opportunity. Why not have a couple of uh, minorities in there, you know, just for funsies? Because the only one I saw in this episode was Lex Luthor. And so why not have Aquaman be the, the Polynesian sort of vibe that we have in the Snyderverse? It's not like it's contradicting anything, really. You could still have the same voice, the same portrayal and whatnot. I think it would work, but sure. maybe I'm missing something. And it's, uh, a, 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 what do you call it, adhering to the, a purist sort of... Um, Thing. Yeah, because it is based off of the original, the, comic, the original yeah. comic book design. So from a purist standpoint, I suppose it makes sense. But I, I do really like the Snyderverse version of Aquaman. So. Yeah, I agree with you. And I really like how this episode really focused on 
Harley and Poison Ivy, their relationship and yeah. their friendship. It's it's a very meaningful bond and relationship. The way Poison Ivy, I mean, she was kind of ready to, I, I don't know if she was ready to join. I mean, it seemed like, hey, I, I just want to do the right thing, but I just want to be honest with her and tell her like what the dealio is here. And of course, the timing, the the perfect dramatic time of Harley Quinn is now the member. It's just, yeah. of course. And then, you know, seeing the repercussions from what happened there, like that's such a relatable trait. And that's why I, I really, I've pointed this out a couple times. I love that it's not uh, based in reality, but it's so grounded because of the relationships and the dialogue and stuff that we get so much more invested in these characters because they feel real to us. Absolutely. Yeah. This dramatically did exactly what I needed from it because every episode was sort of like, in this week in Harley Quinn, and this one, they did something to shake it up, which is there was a rift that was drawn between, uh, you know, Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy, and I'm yeah. like, and I'm glad it didn't resolve right away, because, you know, she had the phone in her hand, and she saw her best friend that she missed, and I'm like, I really hope they don't, you know, wrap this up in a night, in a neat bow tie by the end of the episode. Mm-hmm. I wanted to go for at least one more episode where they haven't spoken to each other yet, and that notion of trying to reach out, but then retracting, I feel like is extremely relatable, where we've all been there, where oh, we want to yes. say something, we're like, yeah. I don't, maybe not, never mind. And you, you know, pull it yeah, back. Yeah, exactly. Like you write that text and then right before you send it, you're like, ah, actually, no. Did it show that the message was sent and then she deleted yeah, it? Uh, yeah. No, she didn't send it. Oh, no, she, she did. It no, said, she didn't. Didn't it she's, say? No, she's, she, it she was about to she type it, typing. but she's typing she's, yeah, and then stopped. And then it deleted, yeah. Okay, uh-huh. yeah. Um, no, we've all seen that and been there, so. Yeah, yeah it's can, like, what did she say? Because you're just not sure if, you, you know, you're making the right move. You, you yeah. hesitate. But, like, there's got to be an ulterior motive there. I don't think Lex Luthor suddenly, you know, was like, oh, I think letting Harley join is, is a good idea now. I think it's still some sort of ulterior motive to get Poison Ivy to join. I disagree. I think it's totally transparent. I think everything's on the up and up. Definitely with Lex Luthor. Yeah, he has no history of being, you know, underhanded. A manipulative. Deceitful. Yeah, exactly. I can't stress this enough. Whenever Clayface <laughs> goes over a backstory or just yeah. becomes another character, it's class. I, lo- I mean, Alan Tudyk really nails that character in the voice. And then when he becomes someone else, like he really becomes someone else. I love it. It's just so yeah. entertaining. Bane is still my favorite, though. Oh, for like, sure. When the Definitely. sausage, I yeah. forgot when what he happened. couldn't even eat the. Yeah. He's like, because <laughs> when the sausage fell on the floor, he's like, I will destroy you, sausage. Sauté. <laughs> Whatever he yeah. said, it was funny. He was trying to make a comment about society. He's like, it's, it's politically correct. <laughs> it's messing up all the humor. Yeah. yeah, even with like ocean jokes too. He's right. like, there's nothing and nothing is safe now. Uh, yeah. Also to the voice of Scarecrow, obviously I know it's not Christian Bailey wouldn't be doing a show like this, but I kept on getting, from what his natural voice is, I almost was getting a Christian Bale vibe there. Do you mean a Killian Murphy or? No, I was thinking. Oh, Christian Chris, Bale? Chris, no, he, yeah. he just means the quality of Christian oh, Bale. Oh, okay, yeah. gotcha. Well, also yeah. too, in his uh, his actual natural accent, I, I was I kept on going thinking like not obviously not his American accent, but right. I, I was thinking like almost sounds like Christian Bale, but I know he's he would not do a show like this. No, so. probably not. Yeah. <laughs> or if he had a cinematographer to yell at. Maybe. Exactly. Yeah, oh yeah, my maybe. god, the best rant ever. How did you all feel about Giancarlo Esposito as Lex Luthor? Did we talk about that already? Has he he's made appearances in other episodes? Yeah, I can't he has, remember. He has. I like him. Just when he's on camera, yeah. I like him when when he plays these kind of negative characters. It's also his voice. It just yeah. perfectly oozes that kind of slimy, manipulative quality that's perfect for the character. No. Yeah. The one I love the most is from Superman the animated series, the one that came out in the late 90s. That's my favorite version of Lex Luthor, but for what this show is going for in the tone, I think Giancarlo Esposito does a great job for what this show is going for. Like it fits in tonally with what the rest of the characters and the interactions. I loved his interactions, especially with Poison Ivy. Like yeah. mm. you could feel the history between those two. My favorite Lex Luthor has to be from uh, Batman v Superman, hands down, easily. <laughs> yes, definitely. Yeah, Just most like, popular n- popular opinion. N- not divisive. Not a divisive uh-huh. choice whatsoever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm kidding. I couldn't tell you who my favorite Lex Luthor portrayal is, you know, off the top of my head. Smallville. I like Michael Rosenbaum in Smallville. He's really good. Yeah. I mean, the show has other noteworthy actors in it, namely um, this Jewish Jason guy. Jason Alexander. Jason Alexander, yeah. Giancarlo Esposito has such a, like, when I hear his voice, I immediately see his face. Yes. And it sort of, it sort of pulls me out of the, the show a little bit because I just immediately see his face. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I'm not able to suspend my disbelief and see this character, if that makes any sense. That's interesting. Yeah. Because I, I see his face face too but at the same time I see his face as Lex Luthor I'm like 
it works. It's just so iconic. Like his yeah. his voice, you know, he's got such he's got a particular quality to his voice yeah. where and instantly I know who that is. And so it's hard for me to disassociate. No, it totally makes sense you know? and kind of an example to what you're saying, obviously not cartoon or voice, but uh, I did read a little bit of trivia on one of my all-time favorite films, 1992's A Few Good Men, directed by Rob Reiner, and Ed O'Neill was actually supposed to have a cameo in that film. Uh-huh. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it. I've not movie. seen it, so I, please oh, don't, no. don't. I'm not going to spoil it, but just I tell I can't you. handle the truth, so just yeah, don't. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I won't, but Ed yeah. O'Neill was supposed to have a cameo in that and apparently test audiences, could, and it was a serious scene in the courtroom, they could not stop laughing at the scene because it was at the height of Married with Children as Al Bundy, oh, so. Oh, wow. And for Rob Reiner did not want to do it, but he had to cut it out because like, I don't want my audience laughing like crazy in, in a serious scene when it's wow. there's no meant to be not comedic in any way. Oh. So I can totally relate to your point of what you're saying wow. there. What a sad situation. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure Ed O'Neill's like, that sucks for me to be cut for because I'm so funny in one thing. It can't be, uh, I'm yeah, typecast now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, nice, nice fly reference, by the way, of his sister. <laughs> Just like the most random of things to be hiding. In an octopus. Yeah. I, I was wondering what the point of that was in relation to the show, because I guess it's just a random show and random things will happen. I feel like um, over the course of the episodes, there's like this sort of connected connective tissue between the episodes, even well, if it's just loose. It's like the lack of communication between him and his sister. Like they spent 30 years not talking to each other. Okay. And he locked her up in the room. She realizes like, oh no, I'm not talking to my best friend and this could be us, mm-hmm. I think. Is okay. kind yeah, of what they that, were going that's for. exactly how I interpreted yeah. it too. I almost wish that this scene under the sewer happened an episode later so that it could bridge Harley Quinn into talking to Poison Ivy again. Because oh. it seems a little odd that you have this inspiring moment where she goes, oh, and she misses Poison Ivy, but then doesn't reach out. Yeah. Like, and doesn't make that move. Because I feel like usually when we are hit with a realization of, of something and we sort of identify with it, we immediately make a move because we want right. to have instant change, but instant she gratification. Was, she was in the process of making the move and then um, Lex, Luthor. Lex Luthor said something to her and she's all like she thought better of it I agree with you initially let's see how they patch things up either in the next episode or the next two episodes yeah. but initially I do agree with that because I was kind of thinking things were gonna patch up even though yeah. I wanted like I had your sentiments where I kind of want to see like an episode or two but after this inspirational moment okay they're definitely gonna patch things right. up now but let's see what happens in the next yeah. episode or two and then Maybe it was supposed to subvert our expectations or something, but anyway. So you're saying Rian Johnson directed this episode? No. <laughs> Is it Rian Johnson? I thought it was Ryan Johnson. Ryan. I thought it was Ryan Johnson. Sorry, I, like, I wanted to say it the I? clay. I wanted to say it the clay face. Oh, oh gotcha. Because gotcha, I was gotcha. like, I started, I started feeling stupid for like the, the past 15 years. All of a sudden, I'm just like, wait, did I? Well, I wanted to subvert <laughs> your expectations of how to say it. Gotcha. So. <laughs> What a looper. Okay. <laughs> wow. And on that note, we're going to end this uh, reaction right now. If you guys enjoyed what you watched, please subscribe. Click that bell icon and upvote this video so that YouTube knows that you're enjoying what you're watching. And we'll catch you next time. I'm Achara Kirk. This is... Andrew Flash Gordon. And this is... Jabby Kawai. Ciao!